In this tutorial, you'll learn how to mask text in Adobe Flash CS6, which will look a little bit like this. So we can mask text in Flash using a spotlight effect. And to do that, we'll start a new document. So we'll click on File and New. And we'll just choose Action Script 3.0 as the type of file. Click on OK. Now it's up to you what size your document is, but I'm going to change the size of this document so that it will be a little bit like a banner at the top of a web page. So to do that, click on Modify and Document. And I'll leave the width as 550 pixels, but I'll change the height to 100 pixels. So it's 550 by 100. Leave the background color the same and we'll leave the frame rate as 24 frames per second and click on OK. Okay, now to make this uh, document fill up the screen, be a little bit bigger, we can click on this arrow here and choose fit in window so we can see all of it properly. Okay, now the first thing to do is to grab the oval shape tool and while we draw it up, hold down the shift key on the keyboard and just click and hold mouse key down to draw that circle. And it doesn't really matter what color it is because this will just be used as a mask to reveal the text that we'll have behind it. So it doesn't actually matter what color it is. We'll click on the selection tool and we'll just drag that over to the left. Use the arrow keys on the keyboard just to move it down a little bit. Across. There we go. Okay, so right now we've got a uh, circle which we'll use as a mask. Now we can right click on that circle and click on convert to symbol and we'll just uh, call it spotlight and click on OK. Further down the timeline, go to say the 50th frame right click on there and click on insert keyframe and then we'll just drag this circle or this spotlight over to the other side and we can go back anywhere between those two keyframes and right click on the timeline anywhere between those two keyframes and click on create classic tween okay now if we go back drag the playhead back to the first frame and click on play. You can see that circle is just moving from the left to the right across those 50 frames. Okay, go back to the start. Over here with our layers, just uh, double click on layer one on that text there and we'll call that mask. And we'll click down here to create a new layer. Double click on that and call it text. Now in your layers panel here you can change the order of the layers. Whatever is at, is at the top of this list will be in front of everything else and whatever is at the bottom will be behind everything. So if you're using your layers to have a background and some text in front of the background you'd want the text at the top and the background at the bottom of the list. For this example we want the text at the top and we also want to click on the little padlock symbol for mask that layer and we'll lock that layer. And make sure that we've got the text layer selected. Grab the text tool. Choose a color that we like. And write in the text. Keep it pretty simple. Grab the selection tool. Drag it into the middle there. You can also grab the uh, free transform tool if you want to resize that text or stretch it out. Okay. There we go. Pretty happy with that. Okay, now the last thing that you need to do is basically just right click on that text layer, making sure that it's also at the top of that list, 
and click on mask. Now everything disappears and right now you might be thinking that everything is just gone but if you click on play you'll see that we now have the text mask effect and the circle that you made earlier has now become the mask that reveals that text okay, and that's how you create a text mask effect in Adobe Flash CS6 thanks for watching